guys, this is the Brian Rocks. I just accidentally forgot to press the record button. And we just, well, we finished the level as Luigi. Great, and look at all the galaxies we open up. Isn't that just fantabulous? Isn't that just fantabulous? I'm a little pissed off, guys, sorry. Anyway, uh, welcome back, sorry. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy Part 17. And... I just pretty much wasted a lot of time doing that with a bunch of commentary. Anyway, uh, like I said, I did the first level, didn't mean to. But, I got shocked a lot. Anyway, to the top of Top Man's Tower. Now, what happened in the last episode, like I said, I got the first one. It's called Follow Me bomb -omb because you're supposed to... This bomb -omb is under you, beneath glass. And you're supposed to have them follow you. Yeah, I I'll be honest, I kind of find this level to be a bit easy. Now what you can do here, everything's going all fast, it's like meth, guys! All you gotta do is press that button! And what that button does for you is it slows down time for a certain amount of time. You see, now everything's back to going off fast. Anyway, in the last episode, we finished out World 4 and we got into World 5. And so anyway... Now that we finished up World 5, fought against Bowser. Um, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought because I said most of it during the failed recording. But anyway, during that, um, we finished, like I said, we finished up the World 4. We, um... I can't believe I died in slow-mo! <laughs> it looks like a pancake. Anyway, um, in the last episode, we pretty much just finished up World 4 and we got into World 5. And I just died of a swamp and I looked like a pancake. And so, anyway, hopefully I don't die. No, don't. No. No! I died again! I just keep flattening me. Anyway, in the last. I keep losing track of thought. Last episode, we finished up World 4, got into World 5, I accidentally played a level without noticing that I didn't press the record button. <laughs> I look funny falling in slow-mo. I'm gonna try and get on top of the swamp. That way I don't, like, you know, get squashed. Okay, that was a close call. I guess you could say it was a little... Too close for comfort, I guess. Anyway, what you want to do... Um, I'm pretty much just trying to get all the way up to the top of Top Man's Tower, like it said. And now what you have to worry about here is getting these guys. And this guy, you don't want to destroy, because you need him, actually, to get the star. See? Anyway, we got our first star, surprisingly, under four minutes, which is a new record for me. Um, but yeah, pretty much like I said, I accidentally started recording by accident. So, I got our 48th star, but now we got our 49th. Um, pretty much what happened, I guess. Got a lot of time, I guess, and now we get to enter a pipe with our ship, which is kind of weird. Now, there's a couple of galaxies we can go to. We can go to the Upside Dizzy Galaxy, which only has one. The Slip Sand Galaxy only has two. The Shiver Burn Galaxy, pretty much saying another way of the Hot Cold Galaxy or something like that from the first game. And there's the Boon Moon Galaxy. That one, I think I'll be doing as Luigi, because again, it's Ghost, so yeah. If Luigi does show up, I will be doing him as Luigi. But anyway, I kind of want to get into this one. It's kind of a pain in the butt. The first level, anyway. 
I think. Yeah. Squizzard's Sandy Sinkhole. Now, to be honest, I think they kind of got the whole Squizzard idea from uh, Super Paper Mario. Because in Chapter 4, you were in space and you met this little um, alien named Squirk who was a little mini octopus. So, I, th I think they kind of used that as an idea for Squizzard. I mean, you'd kind of think, Squizzard. Yes, we just thought of the word Squizzard and we just decided, eh, we'll use it. So, it is getting kind of annoying. Okay, I didn't get it. And I dodge, and I dodge, and I dodge, and I did, I dodge. Yes, I dodged again. And I get this, and we spin, and we go this way. And then we go this way, hopefully avoiding the, getting pushed off by the blocks. Now this chicken is pooping bombs, I guess. Now for this one, it's a little hard to do the long jump, so you might have a little trouble. Oh no, no! Okay, I got it, yes. Now what you want this suit for... It's pretty much just to light those. And it causes that. And you want to be careful here, and you want to try and get on top of at least one of these. Because if you don't, you will most likely get crushed to death. See, I almost got crushed there. And now that we're up here, eventually you will want to remember this spot where that sand's coming out for a lot later for the side quest. If you do, good for you. Now, see this giant slide coming out of the pyramid? Guess what? We get to ride down it! But with one of the most hardest difficulties ever. Now you want to keep holding down as far as you can. Now you can hold back, but here's the hard part. See these things coming downhill? They have little smiley faces. You think, oh, they're so cute. Now there's a way of escaping them, but what you want to do is you want to try and avoid getting squashed or going off the side. The only part that sucks is that not only will these guys keep getting shorter, but so will the trap. And what you can do here, actually no, it gets shorter right here as you're already noticing. You get a bunch of starbits from there. I'll well, stay directly in the middle where these coins are at because if you don't, you will eventually fall off the slide and you will die. Now for the main, oh, okay I missed out on extra life, but here's the main point of the level. If you go up to the quicksand, this happens. This is Squizzard. He looks really, really weird. What you want to do is... I'm going to try and throw these balls at you. Now, you want to throw as many fireballs as you can into his mouth to damage him until that happens. And he's going to do it again. Except this time, he's going to throw spiked balls at you. Now the gold ones have coins in them. Alright, that's the second time. Squizzard is almost dead and this level is almost dead. But wait! What's going on? Now we have to deal with these things. Great. And now he throws giant bombs at you. And now Squizzard is... Hopefully... DEAD! Yes! And strangely... The star comes of comes out of where he was. How are we gonna get that? It's okay, guys. It comes back down. It's all right. Don't, don't start crying, guys. Come on, don't don't cry. Don't cry. Guess what, guys? The timer on the friggin' fire flower did not. Oh, that I didn't even. Okay, I thought for a second that it like paused it so we could stay that forever. Oh well. Would have been cool though. Anyway, we got a star, and we're only under 10 minutes, so I guess we're an average record. I'm getting two stars in 10 minutes. And again, it's kind of hard to commentate, so, yeah. Anyway, we are at 50 stars. Hooray! Hopefully we can get our 51st.
Now we can go do that later. I'm not gonna do it now. Anyway, like I said, um, the background kind of looks like Leonardo da Vinci's, um, Starry Night. And I'm guessing some people thought that too when they saw it. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the Slip Sand Galaxy and do Sailing the Sandy Seas. This one might get a little annoying. Those of you who know what it is. We will be riding all the way over there on that thing. One thing we gotta deal with are those cactuses. Now for this level, three main planetoids you gotta worry about. This really long one that I know some of you are thinking, uh, it looks like a giant. Well, guess what, guys? It's not. Now, like I said, the whole point of this, it's gonna take you a while if you don't... If you keep doing that, it's gonna take forever to get across. Now, what you wanna do, I think, um... I think if you keep on, you know what? I think you have to actually go in the pipe. Do you have to? Yeah, you do. There's no possible way that you can actually do that. Anyway. Hey, almost got my butt burn. It's kind of cool, I guess. Anyway, if you avoid these things. You go over here. And now, since I fell, you gotta go over here. Or not, I guess. If I think you're supposed to go on the orange one. Anyway, if you go over here past that, what you want to do is you want to try and land in there. And you end up back over here. Then you go over here. Now, if you'll notice, this quicksand is going a little bit slower. Okay, no, it's not. Never mind. You actually have to go through here. Like I said, I have not played this in a long time. Okay, I guess I don't have to go to that other planetoid. Anyway, it says, danger, don't fall. You get your checkpoint. And the lights turn on this thing. Now, what you want to do is look ahead of what you have to worry about. Because when the cactuses hit these things, the blocks disappear, and you got to be thinking quick. Real annoying person here throughout this whole thing is Cam. Really freaking annoying. Because he's going to be trying to shoot fireballs at you while you're trying to like avoid all these cactuses. Anyway, so they're here causing mischief or whatever. And they get really annoying. And now, if you may have already noticed, um, the, it's going faster now, so you gotta watch out. And so what you wanna do, gotta, like I said, watch out, cause it's gonna keep going faster, and there are moves that you gotta be really careful for. I'm gonna stay in the middle, and as soon as these come back, okay, I almost did not make it. All the way to the right, but like I said, oh dear lord, oh dear lordy lord. Oh my dear lordy lord, you have to worry about this guy now. Crap, crap. Okay, now he's gone, and let's hurry up and get the hell out of here. All right, we got a next star. I think we can squeeze one more in because. Well, it depends on the mission, I guess. Hmm. Got quite a bit to star bits. Anyway. I do not know. Upside Dizzy Galaxy only has one. Shiver Burn only has one. 
I believe it has a secret one as well. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, screw it. I'll just end here. And get back. I guess in the next episode. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna go to this one. All right, in the next episode, we'll be heading off to the Shiver Burn Galaxy. Hopefully, to get this one, and I think there's a secret mission. If there is, we'll do it. If there isn't, oh well. Anyway, if you can hurry up here, um, like I mentioned in the last video, I th yeah, last episode, do everything I said. Look up the hit Hidden Triforce's channel. He just recently finished the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, which I think I might be doing in the middle of this since we're heading near the end of the game. Um, I think I'll be doing the side quests uh, that some of y'all know about while I do the Twilight Princess, but yeah, I think if anything, I'll be doing the... Yeah, I almost gave it away. Um, if, like, okay, I have one battery left. Um, like I said, if I... If I do play Twilight Princess, I'll be doing the side quest during it, since it's kind of not really that hard. But, um, anyway, um, yeah. Anyways, um, please subscribe, send me a friend request, I'll answer it as soon as I upload a new video. Um, like I said, subscribe to my friends or subscribers, because some of them do have awesome channels. Um, so yeah, this is, subscribe, send me a friend request, I'll answer it as soon as I upload a video. Anyway, this is the Brian Rocks, and I'm signing off.